on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show using a lyric video with text lyrics on the stage display in ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation, so just leave your comment below the video. Now, what you may not know is you can actually subscribe to this show as a video podcast. So in order to do that, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. And there you can just uh, subscribe and get every show as I record it delivered automatically to your device and just watch it at your leisure. It'll download automatically and you'll be good to go. So if that's the case, you can also leave a comment at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash ctc screencasts and uh, that'll be cool as well. So a few weeks ago, I created a tutorial on how to use stage display text lyrics with uh, a motion graphics video of text that wasn't uh, connected to a click track. But I realized that some churches do use click tracks, so while you can use that same technique, there's another technique that's maybe even a little bit easier, and I thought that I'd show that to you now. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. In another lesson, I showed you how to do kinetic typography without a click track. But what, let's say that you have the luxury of doing a click track. So how should you proceed? Well, it's actually a lot easier, and so what you want to do is, just like before, this is a ProRes 4444 video with transparency. So this black background is actually transparent, and this white text is the only thing that you'll be able to see on the screen. So while that looks pretty normal, I can put the background behind it at any time. Um, I actually have that set to clear. So that made that go away, but you'll see in normal practice what that does, okay? So that's pretty cool, but how do I get lyrics on the stage display for the, um, for the worship team? Well, actually it's pretty simple. First off, I need to make sure that I remove this uh, cue, the stage display queue um, and then I'm actually since I have this ability here in um, here in ProPresenter 6 almost forgot what the software was there for just a second okay so I'm gonna uh, add a queue to stay change the stage delay display layout to music okay and so that will be correct that that's the normal way to do that um, and this is, would still be playing actually let me right click and edit this just real quick um, so that we can just have it loop constantly so um, Video element. Might not be able to do this. Ah, here it is. So I'm going to put that on loop. So, it should be the case that when I start showing that, that's going to loop over and over again. Let's just clear that just to 
make sure that you see that that remains here. Now, what I want to do is up, I think it's under actions. No, it's right here. Okay, so. I can, of course, here do this. Yep, it is looping, so that's good. But what I can also do is, I believe it's Command-0. Let's see. Yep. So Command-0 right here, that puts that there. And what that is telling me is I no longer have control of the main screen. I've disabled my control of the main screen. So that's going to continue to go over and over. And now I have control of only the stage display. So you can't actually tell that because you can't see the stage display. But with ProPresenter uh, 6, we have that as an ability. I think it was say, Command 3. OK, there we go. So now you can see that I have control of the stage display. I can go to the next one. and that's just really cool and let's say that I need to go back to look at what the main display is doing I can do that now to control the main display again command 0 again so command 0 right here gives me control of the main display and now even though it's down here if I wanted to put up regular lyrics I could do that by clicking on that not sure you would want to, but if, let's say, the uh, worship team gets off and they're just not aligned with the click track, maybe you make these lyrics in such a way that they look like they fit in with this, and you can go to it so that it's less bad. So that would be a good way to do it. So remember, Command-0 not command O, command zero, gives you this little thing right here which says I no longer have control of the main display. See? Command three shows me the stage display. So his craft and power uh, are great. Is This might be actually the wrong layout, but you can see, yeah, because that's showing me the next one, but not the current. So it's the wrong layout, but I can fix that real quick by, yep, it was on the wrong layout. So there we go. His craft and power are great is this slide. Next slide is on earth is not his equal. Okay, so... I did have a mighty fortress is our god right here. So back over to command three to toggle and it's back on mighty fortress is our god. A bulwark never failing. Oh, silly me. Control. I need to get control back. So that is back command zero. Yes. Command zero gives me control, and now a bulwark never failing, our helper he amid the flood. Again, just to make sure you've got it, you can probably quit watching right now, but just, I think it's under, no, that's not it. Ah, here we go. Shows slide on stage display only. I like to think that's toggling control of the main display on and off, but if that helps you. So, and this is your indicator right here. I once had someone send me a message and go, oh no, I've got this and I don't have control. Yeah, that that's 
exactly it. So that's Command-0 to turn that on and Command-0 to turn it off. It's a toggle. And then our other shortcut, Command-3, which is under Window right here, Stage Display Preview. And that allows me to change between things. Remember, a bulwark never failing was on the main display. I go back to Command-3. Oh, it must have been a helper, our helper, he amid the flood. Okay, that was on there, and I still don't have control of it because this exclamation point is here. So I do Command-0, and now I do have control, uh, our helper, he amid the floods, of mortal ills prevailing. So that's the way that you would do that. Um, this, by the way, you don't necessarily have to separate the background and the foreground. I just like to because if we decide to reuse this video again, I don't have to remake anything. I just have to change the background. So that's why I did that. This could absolutely be just one video and just skip the ProRes 4444 format as well. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you see this little trick that uh, they've added into ProPresenter. I think it was in ProPresenter 5 as well that makes it really easy to do this sort of thing. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and pick up your copy of my uh, one of the great tools that I've created for you there and a free copy of my email newsletter. Also, thanks for paying attention all the way through. I know sometimes people dip in and out just for a tip here or a tip there. And uh, the fact that you're still watching, I just really appreciate it. So thanks for that. By the way, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store and see if there are any of those resources that would really help you out. I made them with you in mind and that's my hope, that you'd find something that would be helpful to you. And take a special look at the Church Tech uh, U subscription. That's a way for you to be involved in a community of church techies where we help each other out, and all my resources are there for one low monthly or yearly price. So head over there and take a look at that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.